Shalom, all praise on his way to Yahweh. Bashim Yashai, Bashim Kakadash, the ones to the other apostles, great men. So, if that takes you out, it's teach all truth, sincerity. Um, <clears throat> this video is going to be called These Idols Are No Gods. Um, so, we start this off in 1 uh, Chronicles chapter 16, verse uh, 26. It says, For all the gods of the people are idols, but Yahweh made the heavens. Um, <clears throat> and all the all the gods of the other nations are just idols, but the Most High, you know, who's the only living power, you know, He made heaven and earth, you know, and uh, He created all these living things that we see and that we can feel and that we can touch, and you know, uh, and even the invisible things that we can't see, you know. Um, the Most High and the Son created, you know. Uh, and, you know, the nation of Israel, uh, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, we only have the living power, while these heathens have idols which have, which are not living. You know, they're just statues, they're just um, basically like um, stationary. You know, you can throw that on the ground and it would it and it won't get up you know because when we when we went to conquer these nations back in the ancient times we broke down their their idolatrous groves and uh brought them on subjection to us so i can moving on but anyway yeah when we uh, broke down their groves and brought them up suggestion with us, they, uh, those idols couldn't do nothing, you know, except, you know, stay down and be broken, because they're really nothing. But anyway, I'm a, um, I'm gonna go to Leviticus. You know what, I'll read Exodus first, hold on. Uh, this is Exodus, uh, chapter 20, verse, uh, verse 1, it says, And Yahweh spake all these words, saying, I am Yahweh, thy power, which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other powers before me, thou shalt not make unto thee any, any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. It says I said thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for I am Yahweh thy power and the jealous power visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. And uh, the reason why I kept reading this is because um, the Most High doesn't really want us to uh, make anything, um, any graven image, anything, uh, make anything usually idle. Because he's basically a jealous power. You know, to explain the, the fourth verse, is, yeah, basically he doesn't want us to be making things into idols. You know, idle, you know, and that, that means anything like worshiping trees, worshiping, you know, wood and stone and gold. No, you know, because he's a jealous power. He wants you to serve him only, you know, and not be, uh, what's the word, you know, and, and you can make anything you know, You can even make yourself an idol. You can make um, a celebrity an idol. You know, he doesn't want you to do that, <clears throat> you know, because he's a jealous power. You know, he don't want no, 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 nothing before him. You know, if he's a living power, why would you want to serve something that that's not that that's not living? That's that's um that he created when when he's a living power and he he's he's the one that created you. You know. Uh, I'm gonna go to this Leviticus 19 and 4. It says, "Turn ye not unto idols and and 
make nor make to yourselves molten gods. I am your power, your power. So, <clears throat> and the reason why I went to Exodus because uh, it's right there. It says he doesn't want us to make any images, any likeness of you know a statue of something or, or idol. You know, you, you know it says right here in Leviticus the same thing. It says don't turn to idols and don't make yourselves molten gods. You know, because he he is you know basically your power, power, your power. You know, he's your power, your power. He wants you to serve and and uh, worship him because he's he deserves all the honor, praise, and glory. You know, and he's the living power and he he, he created you. You know. <clears throat> And all these, all these gods, they're basically nothing, and they, and they can't, um, you're not, they're not living, and they can't uh, basically clean themselves off, nor can they um, uh, prevent themselves from falling. You know, um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to let me see First Corinthians eight. Okay. You know, I'll go to uh, Baruch, because I go to Baruch six. It's Baruch six and verse uh, verse one. Uh, it says, um, "A copy of the epistle which Jeremiah sent unto them, which were to be led captive, captives in Babylon, um, by." Captives into Babylon by the king of Babylon cert certified them as it was commanded him of Yahweh because of the sin which he hath committed before Yahweh ye shall be led away captives into the Babylon by Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon uh, king of the Babylonians um, it says so when ye become unto Babylon ye shall remain there many years and for a long season, namely seven generations, and after that I will bring you away peacefully from this, because we were there in Babylon uh, for 70, 70 years. Um, it says, um, now shall ye see in Babylon gods of silver and gods of gold and of wood born upon shoulders and wood shoulders which cause the nations to fear because <clears throat> uh, you know when we were in the ancient times in Babylon we did see you know different idols of wood stone <clears throat> wood stone gold uh, silver you know and that that's the same now we're in we're in modern day mystery Babylon and we see gods of wood Size of stone and uh, silver, and you know, there's a god for everything. There's a tree god, there's you know, all these nations have their their uh, idols, you know, um, you know, displayed around this this wicked place, you know, and all these wicked, all these heathen nations have uh, temples here in Babylon, you know, worshiping their idols. You know, because you know America is a uh, land of the free, home of the brave, and they they allow all nations to come here and worship whoever they want to worship. And you know, you can worship anything under the sun as long as, and you can call yourself an American, which that that's a a Babylonian trait. <clears throat> and that's why this place is called Sodom and Egypt, and and you know Babylon is all over the one. Uh, I'm gonna go to uh, verse uh, four. It says, "Now show you see in Babylon gods of well, so I got right there. Uh, well, I'll read four again. It says, "Now show you see in Babylon gods of silver and, and of gold and wooden and, and of wood born 
upon shoulder which caused the nations to fear. It says, Beware thereof that ye in no wise be like to strangers, neither be ye afraid of them when ye see the multitude before them and behind them worshiping them. So we're not supposed to be afraid of these idols, even of the people that that be <clears throat> worshiping them. Because these idols are nothing. You know, it says, But ye, ye say, but say ye in your heart, O oh, Yahweh, we must worship thee. So we're supposed to say in our mind that uh, we're supposed to worship the Lord. And only, only Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, only. It says, for, for my angel is with you, and I may, and I myself caring for your souls. It says, as for thou tongue, it is polished by the workmen, and, thou, and they themselves are gilded and laid over with silver. They are they, but false and cannot speak. So these these idols are decked out with with silver, with gold, and with crowns, and you know scarlet and everything. But they don't speak. They can't. They can't say thank you for dressing me up and making me look polished because they 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 don't have no power and they're not living. It says verse nine and taking gold and as it were for a virgin that loved it to go gay. And they make crowns for the heads of their uh, their gods. Yeah, they they you know, they love to be <coughs> you know happy and go lucky with 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 decorating these idols and putting crowns on their heads and um, <coughs> making them look all polished. You know, it says uh, verse ten. Sometimes also the priests when they from their their gods gold and silver. And bestow it upon themselves, and they take you know gifts that they receive upon the idol. Their uh, their uh, faithful priests that you know worship these idols, they take the the gifts that they receive and put them amongst themselves and spread them amongst themselves. You know it says eleven. Yeah, they will give thereof to the common harlot and deck them as men with garments, being gods of silver and gods of gold and wood. They give their uh their gifts to to their their uh faithful uh the faithful harlots that worship these idols and, and you know uh it says uh it says verse twelve yet cannot these guys save themselves from rust and moth so these guys can't save themselves from you know looking old and, and uh looking looking rusty it says, though they be covered with purple raiment, so though they be decked out with, though they be so decorative, they can't prevent themselves from rusting and from from beginning old. It says, uh, verse 13, they wipe their faces because of the dust of the temple when there's much upon it. So when the temple gets dusty, the idols get dusty, and them idols can't wipe themselves. Uh, it says, verse Fourteen. He that cannot put to death one that offended him, hold a sepulchre, as there he were a judge of the country. So these idols may hold a staff in their hand, but they can't put to death anybody that offends them. So a person, you know, you know, offends that that person's uh, that 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 man worshiping that idol. That idol can't say, let's put that man to death, because that idol has no life in it. Um, it says verse. 15, he have also in the right hand a dagger and an axe, but cannot deliver him himself from war and thieves. So he can't, the idol can't deliver itself from being um, robbed, you know. It says verse 16, or being knocked down during a war. It says verse 16, whereby they are known not to be gods, fear them, therefore fear them not. So we're not supposed to fear these idols or a person that's you know, doing idolatry, because these idols are nothing. Uh, uh, I'm going to go to, cause, uh, it says the same thing in Psalms that Chronicles say, uh, but I'm just going to read that and I'm going to be done. Uh, this is, uh, uh, Psalms 96 verse 4, it says, uh, for Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared among 
block he is to be feared above all gods for all the gods and nations are idols but Yahweh made the heavens so we're supposed to fear Yahweh by King Yahshai above all all the idols of the nations and before all you know because these idols are, are basically nothing and these heathens are you know their idols are nothing so I'm gonna say all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Akakadash, Dabba Anish, Dabba Hubba, Akasas, Ring, No Song, Citation, Akakich, All Truth, Sincerity, and Shalom.